It's a short multiple uh, multiple choice question, but we're gonna go through all of the options and see if we can find the correct one. So a simple question of which one of the following will shift the supply curve for good X leftward. And like I said, we'll go through each of the options. So option A is where there is a situation in which the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supply. Now, as with most things in economics, if you think logically and intuitively, you will be able to find the answer. So let's look at option one. So we'll draw our supply and demand curves for good X. So our supply curve and our demand curve. And we know on our horizontal axis, we've got quantity. And on our vertical one, we've got the price of the good. So for option A, a situation in which the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied. So let's find that point. So let's choose a point of quantity demanded here, and we'll just give it an arbitrary value of, let's say, 20. And we'll pick another point on supply curve, and let's say it is 10. So in this situation, uh, let's say the price is here, 2. In this situation, we can see that quantity demanded uh, exceeds that of quantity supplied, such as what they say in the question, a for us or option a there so will this necessarily shift our supply curve leftward remember we want it to be yeah that is what our answer is going to be but if you look at this there's no logical reason for our suppliers let's say uh, the manufacturer of um, a clothing like a t-shirt why would it increase or why would it shift leftward because remember by meeting demand, they can make more profit. So they would want to go to the right so they can meet up with demand because that means an increase in profit. If they go leftward, we move away from demand, which makes no logical or intuitive sense. So I think we can say safely that it is not going to be option A. So let's look at option B. A situation in which there is an increase in the cost of the machinery used to, pr to produce good, X. So remember an increase Let's think about that for a second. So we put our quantity and our price. We again put our supply and our demand. So let's say this is our equilibrium now and it's a quantity 10 at price five. So if there's an increase in the cost of the machinery use, so it becomes more expensive to make, for example, our t-shirts. If you think about it, would a, would a producer of t-shirts, somebody who manufactures these t-shirts, are they going to say, well, it's more expensive for us, but it's okay, we'll, we'll carry the cost of this? And the answer is simple, it's no. They're going to they're gonna carry over this increase in cost to our consumers, those who demand. So we can see that by increasing the cost, we're going to increase the price we finally f uh, give to our consumers, so it will necessarily cause an increase or a, sh a leftward shift and in some cases, some people refer to it as an upward shift of our supply curve. Because we can see what's going to happen here is now our quantity is going to be lower, but we're going to have a higher price. And this higher price indicates us the increase in the cost of machinery. So we can already see that we have answered our question. It is option B is the correct one. But let's go through the others because they've got some valuable information for us regarding economics. So let's take option C. And which says there is a technological advance in the production of the good X. So again, we make our graph and we show that we've got quantity on our horizontal axis and price on our vertical axis. We again indicate our supply and our demand curves. And we can indicate our equilibrium. Let's say it's quantity 10 again at price 5. So if there's a technological advance in the production of X, which means it becomes cheaper for the producer to produce this good. So again, we uh, take an example of t-shirts. If there's some technological advance in the world, which means it becomes cheaper, then the producers can, for the same cost, produce more, so a higher quantity. So it will mean that we're going to see a rightward shift of our supply curve. So we mark it as S1, and we indicate it shift rightwards. So greater quantity at a lower price, because it's now cheaper to produce. So let's say the price dropped down to four and we can produce 15. So in terms of our question, we already know that B is the answer, but we can safely say that it is definitely not X or not C. So let's do option D, a decrease in the wages of workers employed to produce X. Now, D is just the opposite of option B we had because in option B, our machinery, the cost of our machinery increased, 
but now we say it's a decreased a decrease in the cost so again quantity price we indicate our supply curve we indicate our demand curve we show equilibrium and it says at 10 and 5 and if there's a decrease in the wages of workers, it's similar to that of a technological advance. It becomes cheaper for us to produce or for the producers to produce this T-shirt. So we're going to have a rightward shift of our supply curve. Again, remember to indicate which way it shifts. So shifts rightward or like some people refer to it as downward. So we can safely say it is not D. So from all these options, we, can, we know that it is going to be option B. So this is a typical question you can find for multiple choice question in an exam or test. And this is the logical way to go for it. Go through your options, draw yourself a graph, and just think intuitively and logically what happens. And you will see that only option B indicates a leftward or upward shift of a supply curve.